Hello everyone, this is Helios Raven, I tell you how I do it, even if you don't care. And this is the bomb of turn 5, and when we last left off, Phil went from doing victory triumphant to tables massively turning. I think that's revisionist history. I wasn't doing well at all. Okay, <laughs> so now, what are we going to do first, Phil? First things first, we have to move our blazing, dying folk of death. Okay, so, so it's 46. 46. That's 15, 16, 16, 17 okay. years. We're dying down the field. Since I destroyed it, you want me to roll the catastrophic? We do. I would, I would greatly enjoy that. You roll more fun things than I do anyway. Yeah, I gotta use your dice for Battlefleet Gothic from now on. Yeah, they do much better for you than they do for me. It's not fair. It's not fair. So, eight. Blazing Hulk. It's still blazing. Move, um, D4 centimeters and add yeah. a blast. To, yeah. yeah. Oh, in each of its subsequent turns. Okay, so we just keep leading. <coughs> Hot. Okay, now we're gonna try some. This isn't gonna go well. Let's give it at that. Okay. This guy's crippled. It's minus five centimeters. He's on a blast marker. That's another minus five centimeters. That means he can only move a max of ten centimeters. This is his minimum distance to turn. Fortunately, I want to try to hope to get around. It's probably not gonna do anything. I should probably try rolling a leadership check for some fanciness. But that's not going to happen. The only way you need a leadership check for maybe burn retros or something. Well, if you do a leadership check, you can have them run away. We're not running. <laughs> okay. If I turn a little bit, if I turn to 45 this way, I can get you with my side weapons. So I'm going to hurt you until I die. Oh, that was too much. There we go. So I have you in the side arc. I can maybe hit a little bit of stuff before I you die. You can hit about two of them. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. the maximum amount of damage you can do no matter what your roll is, too. Yep. Okay. And this guy way over here, we're going to try to use the, the gravity of the planet to come around. This may or may not work. So first the 90, so this facing this that way, um, in a cloud. We're going to move our <coughs> half our full speed, since Wait. first yeah. we're just so we can get close enough to get stay in here. To lose a little bit past that, but we can't move past 15 because 15 is our max for going through the cloud. So that's about 12. Okay. Still facing that way. We get free 45 from being within 30 of the planet. Towards the planet, just so everybody knows. Yep. So that's kind of that way. -ish. Yep. Well, it's toward. You're you're going from facing behind him to turning around. So technically, either yep. way for you is towards the planet. And now, okay, it doesn't put you in the front arc, does it? Uh, no, it does not. But I have yeah, a side wait, arc. Yeah. Wait. 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 Put that back up. Here, we'll do it this way. Okay. Um, no, you you draw a line past his um base. You're in close proximity. Well, no, I mean I don't draw a front arc. Well, no, that's oh, um, this is like the, the the outside edge of the front arc. I definitely don't touch your 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 stem. Yeah. So I got side arc. So I got, got a side arc. I got one shot. <laughs> one shot. <clears throat> Make a count. Not really. So, up to your shooting phase? Yeah, we're going on shooting phase. Okay, we're going to start with our still crippled cruiser over here. <sighs> okay, side weapons. So we got front facing, left facing, so two guns. That's basically it. Yep, that's basically it. We have two rail guns shooting this way. Rail guns is your weapon battery. That's right? weapon batteries, I apologize. No, I'm just making sure. Under 15. Okay, so how many? Two. Two. Your a beam. Bursting escorts a beam. I get one at best. Zero. Really? Oh wait, within fifteen, one. Yeah. Oh, Sorry. Thank God. Oh wait a minute. Hollow fields. Shift zero. back to zero. <laughs> okay, so no matter what we do, we shoot and do nothing. Basically. Unfortunately. Okay. Well, we still got this guy. He got <coughs> one lance shot. Let's hope for a four up. It's a hit. It's a hit. All your hollow fields. Nothing. Darn. So give me a blast temp marker. Uh, there we are. Boom. Okay. Ordnance phase. <clears throat> All I got left are those three torpedoes. Yep. We're rolling to see if any of them blow up. None of them do. Do you want me to reroll that? No, that's fine. Okay. Um, so we still have all three. Yep. They're getting closer to maybe not being useless. So we got a 45 turn. <coughs> Still not good enough to hit you. And they're going to blow up now. Not if I go full distance. 
So to avoid getting blown by your torpedoes, I will fly past them. And I have nothing else to move, so you're... Okay, my torpedoes. Yeah, I'll take that. Okay. Since my torpedoes don't get any fancy turnings. No, your torpedoes suck. No, they don't. They, they're, they're super accurate and do lots of painful things. Evil, evil, evil. Devil, devil. Terrible things. Fortunately, all of his torpedoes have really missed me, so they're really just things to avoid at this point. And that shouldn't be a problem with my one okay. working ship. Roll your d6 for removing blast markers. And for repairs, maybe? Um, yeah. Okay. Um, do you have anything that can be repaired? The dorsal weapon systems. And get my freaking torpedoes back. <sighs> I have to roll six for that, right? Yep. Well, you roll one f each point for each remaining hull, okay. and for every six. Um, nothing. One, two, and a five under the planet. <laughs> okay, so there's nothing for that, so now we roll for blast markers. Four. There's only two not touching something. One, two, three. Oh yeah, that's right, that one's so, not touching. I don't touching. really want to remove these, but I'm going to. Well, you have to, there's nothing else. Yeah, exactly. And that's it, right? Yep. Okay. Okay, so that's the end of bomb of turn five. Until next time, this is Helios Raven, signing off. I'm